Hi, I'm Chuck with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're inside our R&D shop where we've been very busy this winter working on new products. Today I'm real excited to share with you our latest cargo rack and it's this one here that's designed to fit the Can-Am Defender. Whether you're a duck hunter, rancher, farmer, whether you're in the construction business or you're um, in a metropolitan municipality, this rack's got a ton of features that I think you're gonna find very useful. As you can see here, we have a real nice cargo rack on top and we made this thing out of eighth inch aluminum. We've been testing this really for about two years. We have another model that's been out in the field. We really feel it's uh, durable and it really holds up well. Some of the high, high points of this rack are the amount of tie down slots we put in it. So we've got tie down slots here so you can hook your bungee cord in, secure cargo over the top. We've got these tie down slots inside of the bottom here where you can hook more uh, ratchet straps in it. We wanted to give you lots of options to be able to secure things down with a bungee cord up inside the cargo rack. But probably the, the most, I guess maybe you could say the heart and soul of this rack are the amount of it fits mounting points we have on it. So what we've done when it comes to it fits is we've designed a series of products that bolt on and every one of them uses the same four bolt hole pattern as you can see. So whenever you see this, these four bolt holes, you know it fits. So this is our universal tool mount. What's kind of neat about this is you can mount, you know what, let me go back here and show you an axe. I got one here that's already um, set up on here. So you could take this it fits mount, put an axe holder on it. You could mount it this way. You can take it, you could bolt it on this way if you wanted. We've also got mounting holes up underneath here. You could mount it up here underneath the cargo rack. All kinds of options. You can mount it out here on the outside. Um, just tons and tons of options. The neat thing about our It Fits tool mount is it comes with two of these uh, rubber grippers that adjust and squeeze. We also designed our own little standoff. Sometimes with a shovel, you wanna get this out a little bit further. As you'll notice, we have all these mounting holes so you can choose to mount the gripper here. You can move them up, down. You can turn them sideways. You get all kinds of options with these racks. And we're gonna go through that a little bit more as the video goes on and kind of really outfit this thing. Another neat part of this rack is we've designed this adjustable spare tire mount. So as you can see, it adjusts up and down for different height tires, and it also adjusts in and out for different width tires. And this will bolt right here, and it goes right into our It Fits mount, and then you can mount your spare tire right in here. Um, just a great feature that we think a lot of people are really gonna like, the usefulness of it. The other thing that we have is our RBO it fits Rotapax mount. So the really neat thing about our It Fits Rotapax mounts is that it adjusts in and out. You can see it has the It Fits bolt pattern. Again, you can mount this Rotapax anywhere you want in our It Fits brackets. On my machine, I actually like to mount it upside down right here in the rack. But the reason that we developed this Rotapax mount is, is because in the summer, these fuel jugs, fuel jugs tend to swell up a little bit. And what we did is we made a threaded bolt here so that if your jug swells up, you'll be able to unscrew this and get your fuel jug off. And I mean, we sell a lot of these. This is definitely um, a product that works. I mean, we really feel that all of our products work. We don't build things that are gimmicky. A lot of people that know us will see us out in Moab or see us out hunting and, and we, just, we just get out and we beat these things and make sure they're gonna hold up before we put them in your hands. Now I wanna take a moment and talk a little bit about the, the handrails and the uh, mounting system of this rack. So as you can see, we have all these little D-ring D slots, if you will here, places to tie down motorcycle straps. You can hook bungee cords in and rope. We put a lot of thought into the size and shapes of these got a lot of feedback from customers and we're very happy with it. We've also decide, designed the bed rails here out of steel 
and we powder coat them so we've got a very strong side platform here. Here's the mounting bolts, and we have a, another video online that you can see how to install this. Andrew Varga, the gentleman that designed this, he's very proud of it, and he, he did a great job of showing you how to install this. And when I talked to Andrew, he told me he thought a, an average person using basic hand tools, it'd take about 15 minutes to install this rack. There's no drilling or anything. I think it just takes a, a couple end wrenches and a screwdriver, and uh, you'll be good to go. So I'll talk a little bit more about some more of the functionality of this rack. I showed you how you can tie things down on the inside. What I wanna do is go ahead and configure this side of the rack out uh, the way I run my machine. So I start out with uh, mounting my ax to the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mount, a, we're gonna mount one Rotapax upside uh, down here from the bottom of the tray so I can show you how easy it is to mount that. Okay, now that I've got the Rotapax mount installed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount a water jug here so you can see what that'll look like. Now we've got that jug on. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and mount another Rotapax over here just so you can see uh, an, another option of mounting that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this Rotapax jug here. Okay, there, we've got that done. Now I'm gonna move out here and we're gonna mount a couple shovels on here. Okay, we're just gonna put this uh, last shovel on and as you can see, you have all kinds of options here. I really like to have my long shovel here in the front so I'm clear out of the way of the tire. You know, while we were putting this together for you, um, I realized that I put the Rotapax where we want to put the spare tire. So we're going to go ahead and move that and uh, show you the spare tire mount. What we'll do is we'll just move the Rotapax to the outside. Okay, as you can see, we've got this rack fairly well set up. You know, there's 17 different mounting locations where you could put your it fit. So the choices are really unlimited on how much stuff you want to carry on this rack. You know, I always say at the end of each video, we're a small company and I really appreciate um, all the feedback, the comments. We really appreciate it when you subscribe to our channel. You know, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, Mountain Home, Idaho, and every time we sell one of these racks, you're putting people to work. And for that, I really thank you. And I hope to see you out on the trail. <laughs>